Package has arrived. It's 11.15 p.m. I just got home. I've been out for most of the afternoon and this came in while I was out. So if my voice sounds like doo-doo right now, it's because I'm sick. I just got sick yesterday. And it's getting slightly worse now, so you guys might hear me sneeze occasionally here and there. Uh, but what's in this package? So if you guys remember uh, about a month ago, almost a month ago or a couple weeks ago, I made a video where I unboxed the Lenovo ThinkPad X 140E that I bought off of eBay. And I actually ended up returning it for one primary reason. I wanted, I wanted to use Windows 7 on that computer. Thing is, the downgrade process was nearly impossible. And it was nearly, I just couldn't do it. So I told myself, if I can't do it, this is what I'll do. I'll return that one and find another one with Windows 7 if there is one. And to my luck, I managed to find one for the same price. And this is actually the correct model, the X130E. And it said it was running Windows 7. Now this guy didn't provide any pictures with the computer on, but this guy has good feedback on all his listings. So I'm assuming the best. So what I did is I bought this first, then I returned the other one. So the return is still in transit. Uh, so that X140E is somewhere. It's in transit, heading back to the seller, and this one just came in today. And speaking of mail, and I'm probably reassuring sure you guys that this will be the last ever video on this Fixia. So my SD card for my new camcorder, my new Panasonic camcorder arrived, and my batteries just arrived today, my spare batteries. So those I have already. Now the last thing we're just waiting for is a camera, which is due on Monday, and it's Saturday night. Uh, so that's due in until Monday, so I'm really excited, but this is another one I'm excited for. Let's see if this is actually going to be what I've been hoping for to actually get my hands on since I was little. Because while I did get the computer, mostly the design, it still didn't feel exactly as what I wanted as a kid, you know, like the operating system of all that. So this one says it's Windows 7 guaranteed, so let's open it up and see how it, if, if we're really going to get Windows 7. This one used a slightly bare box, or it's... Uh, yeah, it's kind of bigger in a sense. I think from here we can open it. Yep, we should be good to open it from here. Oh, not bad at a sealing job. Okay, I feel the laptop. What just lit out? Oh, it's the charger. Oh, this guy did a pretty good job at wrapping it up and all of this. Oh, it's a little hard to take out. Oh, this bubble wrap has adhesive, right? Yeah, this one has adhesive. That's why it was a little tricky to take out, but here's the charger, the, oh, oh, okay, well this port is actually kind of different, looks actually cool, but same, mostly the same charger as the one I had for the X140E, uh, and uh, Lenovo, yep, that's right. Now for the laptop itself, a design I'm already familiar with since I had it in my hands literally not too long ago, uh, but should be a little slightly different, but primarily what I'm looking to see is the operating system if it is what it was that I bought it for. I'm not kidding when I say my allergies are absolutely murdering me right now, dude. Like, f***ing hell, it's bad. Oh, there's a lot more stuff in here. This guy packaged it pretty good, dude. We got some of this, too. <laughs> can pop all this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, at least that can protect it, but... <sighs> all right. Here it is and property of RoboThink. I'm gonna peel that sticker off, but yeah, cause it shows it all that. Oh, just a little bit, this peeling off, but I can just get rid of that, okay. So, pretty much the same. Oh, oh, that's just my fingerprints. I'm gonna peel this sticker off cause I want to show the little Lenovo thingy. Yeah, I, I tried with this sticker, but I think I'll do it later. Uh, cause I don't, I honestly don't have the energy to peel all of it off right now. I just kinda want to get this video done. All right, let's open it up and see. Oh, it feels a little, stronger to open what do we got here oh okay oh that's the correct one right there x 130e that's the right one and look at the old windows key hmm this one actually seems in somewhat better condition than the other one okay let's power it on does it have charge and nope this thing is dead so i have to charge it luckily i have a charger here I had to return another one of course because that's how I could get my full refund but let's let's charge it up okay something I kind of noticed the battery feels a tiny bit loose it's more apparent when the computer is open but if you if I, if I a little bit right here it's like the battery's coming off a little I don't know what that's all about hopefully that doesn't affect it but let's power it on now okay there we go so the battery was dead so thing pad okay let's see Oh, start Windows normally. 
does have Windows 7. Yeah, there we go. Now that's what I'm talking about, starting Windows. I have not seen that screen in ages, dog. Well, actually, my dad has a, a computer in Mexico with Windows v Vista. So it's somewhat similar, a bit, but we're about to see uh, if it, because Windows Vista, I think, failed a bit. Please wait. Oh, sweet dude. Oh, all right. Okay then, uh, I'm, I'm assuming that there are some files on this computer that this guy forgot to erase, but I'm gonna assume that this thing is just gonna be a whole lot faster now that it's on Windows 7. Uh, let's check the specs out, but I'm gonna try to look around all these stuff, around for all this stuff off camera and see what happens. All right, it's been a couple minutes now. I've been playing around with the operating system, kind of messing around. It's been a little tricky. It's so much different than Windows 10 or Windows 11. So settings are in control panel. So it's a whole different, you know, it's all combined where now it's all separate. So here are the specs we're working with here. We have a AMD, a AMD E300 APU and it has 1.3 gigahertz. 4 gigabytes of RAM and this computer name, I have to rename it because it was named to the other person. I'm gonna also peel off that sticker because I don't want it there. That runs pretty decent, uh, you know, on the system system stuff, but going on the internet does kind of slow down a little bit significantly. Uh, but overall, it's actually pretty cool. I did notice a couple things wrong. So first of all, you guys can see a little glitch down there. So we have, uh, I'll show you guys right now. So you have the sound system right there. You have the battery. And then right here, that's supposed to be the network, but the icon is missing. And also the battery keeps saying 0% available, plugged in, not charging. So I'm believing that this battery is faulty. Uh, but that's not anything too bad though. I'm not gonna try to unplug it right now I don't want it to die on me. So I have already Google Chrome installed I'm gonna download some other stuff and if you guys I don't know if you guys heard but whenever I turn the computer on it didn't do a startup sound so I don't know what that glitch was about. So this is what I kind of want to test it So now that it's running Windows 7 is the exact computer. I want to see if it's gonna do the beep whenever I close it It's gonna happen. So I have to give it a little while It's gonna beep now this speaker's all the way up. No, it's still it's still on. Maybe because it has no passcode or something. Yeah, it's it's not going into sleep mode. Do I have to do I have to adjust that setting myself or? Oh, it did go into sleep mode. Did it? It did. Okay, it didn't do the beep. So I have to. Oh, what what happened? Oh. Okay, I don't know what just happened. It went in sleep mode. Did it? Oh! Oh, the whole thing restarted. Windows did not shut down successfully. If this was too protected, you may be able to choose it. Uh, okay, I... I don't know what's going on, dude. Uh, but this thing kind of glitched out on me. I'm gonna mess around with that later, but... Okay, so it said it did it. That it didn't, uh, shut down correctly, which didn't dare. So, let me restart this and see what happens. Okay, I think it fixed itself. When I turned it on, it did the boot up noise, and now the network icon appears. Does it show, right? Yeah, it shows there. And when I tried clicking on speakers, it didn't work, like nothing showed up. There we go, uh, let's see it now. Is it gonna do it? Yeah, oh my god, I have not heard that sound in forever. So, now let's try doing that again, if when I close it, is it gonna do the beep? Or... Uh, I guess it's disabled. I have to figure that out. It's odd because it, it would usually do it. And the, the little light is on, so maybe because... Oh, there it goes. It did it. Oh, okay. It scared me a little, but okay. It did do it. So it's... The, the computer didn't go to sleep mode right away. Okay, that's cool. And then let's open it up and it should do it. And it, I think it does one for the low battery as well. There you go. Nice. That's pretty good. And let's see if I go here. Is it going to do the the, the, the song? Yeah! Oh my god, dude, these sounds are so nostalgic. I haven't heard those noises in ages. I think there's a way I could change the background here, which I'm gonna do, and then there's one you can change it to like, when you lock it. So I'm gonna mess around with that, and I'm gonna download some applications. So that's it for this video, guys. I feel kinda sick, so I don't wanna make this video super long. Uh, I'm gonna mess around with all this stuff a little bit. And uh, pretty cool all around. This is the real deal, what I wanted in the first place. It runs faster. Browsing is definitely still slow. But it's it's faster than it was on Windows 10 and 
yeah, this is probably gonna be the last video with my Canon Vixia. It's been a good run, you know, of using it for the last four years, dude. Not this model specifically, but I've been on the Canon Vixia for the last four years. So it's been a heck of a run, and we'll see that unboxing pretty soon. And uh, yeah, guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.